So I'm going to take a moment and um, get out of my head and open up. She'll come through, but you'll feel it'll get a little stronger and a little stronger. Um, I'm beginning to feel kind of spacey, so that's good. And um, okay. Gaia, the Divine Mother, will talk for a bit, and then she'll be happy to answer questions. Um, I'm still learning how to take questions from the audience while maintaining my vibration. Uh, I mean, I don't take the questions she does, but when people talk, my brain kind of Instead of being on this side, it kind of perks up and responds to the stimulation. Uh, so I have to then focus on keeping myself on this side. So that's still um, a skill that's in development, but it only develops with practice. Uh, and we're going to have a lot of company here, a lot of company. Angels are coming through because they're wishing to make connections. So you may feel your guardian angel. You may feel angelic counsels. Um, Gaia Divine Mother is here, and um, she said her husband is here for support. The God is here. Um, the Galactic Council is here, uh, and that's like the United Nations of the spirit world. So it's like, um, sorry, members from like every race of beings of every type. Are represented there uh, and the dancers of divine light are there the Akashic record librarians and uh, guardians and gatekeepers are all there but they're they're like in the peanut gallery just kind of observing they don't want to get involved because they're still figuring out how to connect with me but so they're saying, we don't understand what, like, when we say things, you understand everything we say. I'm like, yeah, because you've been talking to me my whole life. you got to give other people a chance to sort of get with it. <laughs> they said, it's so much easier when you bring them into the library. I'm like, well, maybe we should do that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, um, so we'll get all that sorted out. The day will come when they're able to come through and people understand what they're saying. Um, okay. Who else is here? The Ascended Masters, a lot of them are here right now. Michael, Jesus, and Metatron are like hanging out, like, um, like best buds. Okay. This is a time to pray for elephants and their well-being. This is the time to connect with elephants, both physical and spiritual. Connect with the elephant soul collective, for they bring, bring divine blessings. This is a time when the elephants need our help. They are gatekeepers for the planet. So as you do your daily prayers, as you work on your energy flow, send the energy to the elephants. They will know what to do with it 
and they will be very appreciative and joyously receptive. This is why some humans wish to hunt elephants so horribly, because elephants are imperative for the growth of this planet. They're guardians. They have a soul connection, a spiritual vibration that meets with the dolphins and the condor and the earthworm. There are certain animals on this planet that when their energy connects within the grid, it becomes an energetic Merkaba that sends divine love through and around the planet in all directions. You will see each of these animals that is so important for the energy, the support of this planet are animals that are most often hunted and harmed. In some cases, they have had to transfer their responsibility to another species of animals it is a great burden to bear to be a healer of this level. It is our responsibility, your responsibility as light bringers to spread awareness and protection to those that, through the nature of their existence, are healing and maintaining the love light of your planet. Of course, just as there are many chakras in the human body, there are many chakras in the earth body. And each being, from ladybug or underground grub, to human, to eagle, gorilla, little guppies, each being is one chakra in the energetic pulse and flow of this beautiful planet. And on a separate vibration, the plants and the crystals maintain another vibration that supports the energetic network. The wind and the clouds, the moisture is a third network of energy. When you overlay these energies of environmental plant and crystal and living beings, that is the basis for the flower of life. That is how we grow our vibration by allowing each network to support energy for and connect with each other network. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Do you have any questions about this? So as you connect with humanity, that is one network of the living beings that you connect with most easily. But each of us also connects with a different animal, possibly a different mineral or plant, 
or the beautiful breeze against your skin. These connections can change and flow just as the waves in the ocean. There are certain networks that you connect with very easily. You may hold a crystal in your hand and say, when I connect with this crystal, all of my other skills become magnified. That is when you're connecting two of these grids with each other. Indeed, it can be very potent. There are many more and smaller grids. And of course, there are larger grids to connect with your divine brothers and sisters of different races and beings. To understand that Earth as you know it is only one frequency within this Earth, that there are many other frequencies within the same Earth. At this very moment, other beings are walking and existing in the space we are even in, here and now. They do not see you any more than you see them, as you are in different frequencies. Portals can connect these frequencies. Your friends of fairies can easily hop from one frequency to another and create portals. For them, this only works when they connect with very high vibrational beings, very innocent beings, pure beings. Of course, children. Many of you, when you were children, danced with your fae friends. Changes are coming fast. Be prepared. Several paths have been opened for humanity, for Earth. But even we don't know which path you will choose. This is an important juncture in your path, humanity, this planet. You are not the first beings to walk this planet. You are not the first beings to be part of this experiment to create a planet that connects all beings in all dimensions and frequencies. A uh, trading post for all spiritual beings and beings of other planets. There have been rises of society in the past that have not maintained their light and they have imploded. It is very important that humanity be the one that raises the vibration of this planet and strengthens the connections to all the beings in existence that are waiting for you. This is why we are in a war of low vibration, battling love. This is why the angels are armored. But when they pull out their swords, their swords are light and love. The only way to win is through light and love and claiming for yourself that which you wish to be, that which you wish to desire in your heart not your mind, in your heart.
long ago, when sentient life was begun for this stage, this cycle of evolution, those from other dimensions of life came here and experimented, practiced their skills to create single cell and simple cell life forms. None of these life forms were intended to continue. They were for practice. It was energy changing to energy in a different shape and then returning to energy. But as they practiced, they infused this beautiful planet with the genetics of their being, these creators. This planet was created to create. Every race and species of being has embedded their energy in this planet. And as life began to grow and flourish on this planet, there were many who oversaw, supported, and brought in great love and guidance to these single cells that multiplied and became life. as humanity started, became a race upon itself. Again, beings brought in much love and light, either guardianship from the etheric realm, guiding, supporting, and occasionally injecting necessary DNA and infusing with energy or coming down for a life to infuse their genetic being in a physical way. There are very few on this planet who are pure human from all life. And there is no one on this planet who has been pure human in every life. Because this planet was designed to connect. It is imperative this connection be one of love. As you have one planet that is filled with a cohesive humanity living as a collective with a state of great love. This light will go through and help many, many beings with their paths of personal evolution. This is when you will give back to those who have guardians and nurtured you through the many millions and billions of years of your growth. As well as the struggled and not always successful versions of this experiment in other frequencies and vibrations of this planet. Do you understand this? For this to happen, 
for our vision that we manifested so long ago. Many of you, your souls were not even conceived yet. For this to happen, the vibration of this planet must resonate on a higher frequency. And for that to happen, humanity must evolve. You are still too primitive. Evolution does not need to wait thousands and millions of years. It can happen in an instant. If you wish to evolve, you may evolve. You wish it truly in your heart. You say, ah, this is time for me to evolve. And how do you evolve? How do you define evolution? If you define it as being filled with love, that is a good evolution. If you define it by saying, I release all that does not serve me with my quest to be an evolved light bringer, then you may release all that does not serve you. It's as simple as dropping a bag filled with things you do not wish to carry. And yet, we cling to these things because they are familiar and comfortable or uncomfortable, but familiar. It is so easy to release if you can let go your grip. But if you let go your grip and release, your vibration can raise higher and then the entire planet will benefit. So to release distress, to release poor self-esteem, to release self-doubt, self-abuse. These things are a small price to pay when this release allows your vibration to rise up and connect with the angels to rise up and flood love and light upon your planet. If you think you must do years of therapy and hard work to release, then that is what you must do. But if you think, oh, why am I carrying this big, heavy bag filled with things I don't want? And that is what you can do. It is your choice. The paths are laid before you, but no one can tell you which path you follow. This is your choice. Whichever choice you make, you are much beloved by those that watch over you. I want you to imagine something. Imagine that for this moment, for this moment, you do release. And you find yourself unweighted, unburdened. You realize without any of these weights, you are very light. 
you are very light, you can rise up. Rise up and connect with the angels. Connect with those who love you. Connect with your soul family. You can rise up. Rise, as our dear friends encourage us to do in her center. Rise, yes. Rise up. Because there's nothing but up. And when you rise up, you find yourself floating in the most beautiful place because you have risen up to a place of pure love. You have risen to the place where beings of pure love enjoy relaxing with each other and resonating with the vibration of love, sending out little jets of love, little arrows of love, playing with ribbons of love, and swirling love all around, filling color with love. It is very delightful to be with the beings of pure love because they are playful, they laugh, they have such fun and joyous states of being. When you are filled with love and joy, you cannot help but to laugh and sing and dance and tease your friends and hug each other and roll about the clouds and the etheric energy with laughter and delight, create fun little energy toys and then release them back to the stars. Being in pure love is such joyous fun. Remember this. When you wish to take a break from your daily life, take a moment, rise up, Connect with those who live in only and always love. Refresh your soul. This is why you have your Hara line that runs down through you, reaching way above you and way below you. Because your physical body is only one part of your body. The energy that flows down to your crown chakra. This is still part of you. This is your energy. If you were to ride this line of energy up, you would find yourself in a place of love. Which means you are always in a place of love because this is your energy that you rise up through and you find that it's always anchored in love above you. Anytime you are thirsty for love, get, ooh, fill me up, send some love down, send me some love, and the angels will pour buckets of love down your heart line, down, down through all your many chakras that are above you through the top of your head and washing about you all this love. Fill your body and surround you with love and then let it flow down into earth, into the rivers. Imagine the rivers flowing with love. Ah. So, each of you, each of you is always connected to love. Think about that. There is no need to ever go hungry or thirsty. Just remember you are connected to the angels. 
your spirit family. You are connected to those who love you. Do you feel this love flowing down? That you could just slip up out of your body, let your consciousness rise up, rise up to love. What does it feel like when you are in a place of love? And then you can take buckets of love and flow them down your horror line to your body. And you can watch as your body goes, oh, thank you. Thank you. This feels so good. And as you are up in the place of love, you can look around you. You can feel around you. You can feel all the different vibrations and frequencies of love, the currents of love, the flow and ebb, the different intensities of love all around you. You are surrounded by beings of love. You can feel them. Invite them to wrap their love energy all around you so you are blanketed in a cloak of love or floating in a bubble of love. You can ride the air currents of love on a magic carpet of love while love kisses flow upon you, covering your entire being with feathers of love. You can even look at your angelic friends, your soul family, your higher self, Because, of course, who do you think you connect to? Your higher self is always in a state of love. Always connected to love. Surrounded by angels. You can see the glowing light. The colors. You can call to your angelic friends. Come to me now. Let me see you. Let me feel you. What do my angel brothers and sisters feel like and look like? For they are beings of pure love. can call to your fairy friends, for they are beings of pure joy and have great love, great sense of humor. They bring much mirth to the state of love. You can see the love light of the fairies as they flit around the beautiful love lights of the angels. You can invite the animal spirit guides that assist you in your life to show you their love state, how they are when they're connected in their pure love being, just as your higher self is. You can feel the beautiful energy of the different animal souls and how powerful they are when they're connected to their higher states of being and their soul collectives. And yet they are love, light.
those you have loved in your life, that your love connection is so strong, be they in life now or not in life. You can see them here in their state of pure love. You can connect your hearts to their hearts. You can wrap around each other in love. You can see their love light, their energy flowing. You may call to me. You may call to the Ascended Masters. You may call to the Divine Source of all. Myself and your Father. You may feel our love. Tap into my love and you can feel my love connects to everyone and everything. For me, all existence, all beings are one collective, my children of love. Feel the love that flows through me to you and feel how that love connects you to everyone. All the galaxies, all the dimensions, All beings everywhere in any shape or form. Are within my love. We are one. And for this moment, this beautiful connection, feel me as I wrap my arms around you, run my fingers through your hair, kiss you upon your forehead, hold you in my arms and cradle you as my beautiful divine child. You are not just human. You are the divine child of God and Gaia. And you fill and flow with the love of your doting parents. We rejoice with all your achievements and your joys, we support and honor you. With your wish, fill yourself with love and sit by our side as our beautiful child. See the love that we have for you. How proud we are of you. 
this tremendous challenge you have taken upon yourself. This wonderful journey and experience. We can only live this vicariously through you. We are so honored that you open your heart for your parents to love you, hold you, I keep you in my heart for eternity. I rejoice when you place me in your heart. When you look around you and you see all this beautiful love light, when you see those you love in their true form, of love and light, divine energy. You look into my eyes. Please look into my eyes and see reflected back my love for you. See that you too are a being of love and light in your pure state you are love you are light you are my divine child that I dote upon I embrace you. I adore you. When you are ready, you may float back down to your body. Feel how light you are, even when you are within your flesh. Feel how vibrant you are. Allow yourself to remain filled with love. Love is a frequency. And whenever any frequency that is not love comes into your being, you may vibrate it away as though you are brushing your teeth. Take a little ray gun to the lower energy. Keep yourself clean and fresh. And then whenever you wish, rise back up. And join us in the place of love, which is your home when you're outside of this daily being. Visit as often as you like or as long as you like, because this is also where you belong. Does everyone feel my love? Does everyone feel how you are beings of love? Wonderful. And now I can take questions if you wish.
Does anyone have any questions you wish to ask? It will take everyone, but as the vibration rises, those who are resistant will find greater comfort in the vibration that will surround them. Look to your children. They are already vibrating on a higher level. Surround yourself with people and beings of high vibration. Support each other in this process. Support each other with organized activities to raise your vibration. You are not meant to do this alone. The more time you spend in joy, the more you connect with people in a state of joy, the more you express your voice through love, including self-love, most importantly, the more the vibration around you will increase. It is determined, many of you in this lifetime, you will see the change. But for the change to happen, everyone will be part of it. Those who most resist will be the last, but they will join with the increase of the love vibration. Is there any more questions? Someone is thinking about their physical health. I wish to tell you, take care of your physical body, but don't worry because worry only brings harm. Take care of yourself to the best of your ability and your best ability will increase And when this physical body is finished, you will return in a new one. You have each given yourself some challenges in this life. And the challenges come in all levels, all types. So love yourself for the challenges you have given yourself. Always, the solution to the challenge is to love yourself and raise your vibration. Is there any more questions? Someone is thinking about loneliness, being alone, wishing for partner. This is an opportunity for manifesting from the very highest vibration. If you wish a companion, raise your vibration 
and call out energetically. Do not accept any companion of a vibration lower than yours. Do not accept any companion of the same vibration unless they are also raising their vibration. The companions will come. This is from the heart to call and create your companion. And your companion will only respond to the lowest vibration of your heart. That is why you must raise your vibration and call to a companion who is also raising their vibration. When the two of you meet and your vibrations connect and rise, you will feel it. Is there any more question? Someone is thinking about balance. How can you balance your daily life? with your desire to be your best self. This is a wonderful challenge. I encourage you to pursue it and to see when and where your best self for the environment and the moment is not always your highest vibration love being but always exist from love and understand that the amount of love, the amount of vibration must always meet with your environment on the highest level of that environment. That allows others to raise their vibration in comfort and security. Does that make sense? Is there any more question? Well then, I love you. I delight in you. I watch your growth and existence with great pride. I support you and again, I love you. Go in peace. Namaste. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm so glad. I was a lot of love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't want her to go. That was. I'll tell you. She has so much love for each of you. She sees each of you as a beautiful light of love. Like, I can see just so much love, so much pride, so much love. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>